Regulation of glycolysis is dependent on the regulation of three rate limiting enzymes pyruvate kinase, phosphofructokinase 1, glucokinase, or hexokinase. On the other hand, gluconeogenesis is dependent on the regulation of the bypass enzymes pyruvate carboxylase, PEP carboxykinase fructose 1,6-bisphosphatase and glucose 6-phosphatase. So this is a quick summary here of some of the important, uh, these are the three enzymes also, you want to add here glucokinase, don't forget, you have hexokinase, glucokinase. However, only hexokinase is inhibited by glucose 6-phosphate. But remember that in the liver, you're going to have glucokinase. It's not inhibited by glucose 6-phosphate. PFK1 activated by AMP and this molecule, fructose 2,6-bisphosphate inhibited by ATP and citrate. Pyruvate kinase activated by the product of PFK1, fructose 1,6-bisphosphate, inhibited by alanine, ATP, and PKA-dependent phosphorylation, which is dependent on glucagon, uh, activation of the glucagon receptor. Okay? One of the post-receptor effects of insulin on the liver is the induction of three glycolytic enzymes in the liver. Those enzymes are glucokinase, phosphofructokinase, and pyruvate kinase. The increased gene expression of these three enzymes means there is an abundance of these three enzymes in the liver, which enables the liver to handle the increased glucose in the plasma after a meal. In fact, the liver is able to use up to 60% of the glucose in the plasma after a meal. Regulation of gluconeogenesis. The first bypass enzyme, pyruvate carboxylase, is inhibited allosterically by ADP and activated allosterically by acetyl-CoA. The second bypass enzyme, PEP carboxykinase, is inhibited by ADP and its synthesis is increased by glucagon or upregulated by glucagon. Fructose 1,6-bisphosphatase is inhibited by AMP and fructose 2,6-bisphosphate, whereas it is activated by citrate and upregulated by glucagon. Glucose 6-phosphatase, the fourth bypass enzyme, is upregulated by glucagon. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.